you're watching the pairs final of the Tombridge Open filmed at the six in one club in December. Thanks to Tony Jepson, Craig Higgins and the team for letting me film and for a fantastic day of darts. It really has been very, very good. And the chalker is Avril. A great final in store here between two fantastic pairs who have won four matches to get to this point. Steve Beasley and Ben West taking on Richie Halson and Lenny Holmes. A nice ton there from Beasley to get us underway in this first of four legs contest. £200 to the winning team here, so good sizable prize money has to be said for amateur local darts and this event that you're watching here this precedes the singles uh, which is why you can see a lot of players warming up in the background the singles event which had well over 64 entries I'm not sure what the uh, end result was in the end for the entry but it is the season for darts opens at this time of year nice fist bump there between Halston and Holmes they Good solid team. They beat Lee Cox and Connor Scott in the semi finals. And I'll just give you a bit more information about Lenny Holmes. Reached the last 32 of the Viking Cup recently, won four matches to reach that stage at the 0 2. Very, very good achievement that. Beat Ian Bauman, Gareth Thomas, Colin Heald's. Hilds, possibly, and uh, Graham Rackstraw. But it's Weston Beasley who have got off to a flying start here. Left 96 after 12. Big golf in the averages there, as you can see at the bottom of your screen. Very early days of that, of course. Both West and Beasley will be going to Q School um, just a couple of weeks' time before this is before this was filmed. So that's coming up in mid-January. Both went to Q School last year and then played a lot of matches on the Challenge Tour. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Lovely 140 there from Holmes. Does get them down to a finish if the 43 doesn't go. Double 16 for West. West gives the nod of approval on hitting that double 16 at the first time of asking. Well, that's a very good start. 17 dart hold. And a troubleless visit there for Holmes. Could pave the way for Beasley and West to apply some pressure in this second leg against throw. Richie Halson, who you can see here, well, he's enjoying and loving life on the World Seniors side of things. A new organisation, of course, relatively new organisation uh, that sprung up and uh, they're producing a whole range of events and Halson's won a couple of their Opens and that's meant that he's booked his place at the World Seniors, the World Senior World Championship. Um, in a couple of weeks time in Perfleet so he'll be going for the second year in a row having played in the first round last year and missed out earlier this year rather than missed out against Martin Adams but fared a lot better in the World Seniors Masters where he beat Trina Gulliver and Keith Della and of course won the Viking Cup as well and I was just talking about earlier, which uh, Lenny Holmes reached the last 32 of at the 0-2. Well, a very close leg this. Weston Beasley have kept up the pressure on Houston and Holmes. And if one big visit here could turn the screw. This is actually on. So another treble 20 for Beasley. Couldn't find it. A methodical throwing action. There's Beasley. 
leaves 56. The 137 won't go for Helson, but he will leave a double of that 97. So, well, all to play for here. Great chance for West to hit the double 16 in the first leg at the first time of asking. Wants double 18 this time. He does like this side of the board. Needs to work in from that one. Grimaces. Knows that's a missed opportunity. Two darts there to break the throw and double their lead. But it is double 10 now for Holmes. That's very close. And that's also just on the wire. Chasing around the board. So more opportunities here. For Beasley and West now has to switch to double 9. Can't find it. So that's a reprieve. Always very tense at the end of legs in pairs, as we know. But double five found by Housen at the first opportunity. One all. 22 dart hold of throw. They won't mind that too much. Yes, well, a uh, bit more information about Beasley. He was a... Uh, London County A player for many years. I don't think he's involved this year, but or oh, this season rather. But uh, yes, certainly very active on the Challenge Tour, and uh, hopefully you can see why because he's thrown some fantastic darts, including that one through one that's opened this leg. Running average of 82, almost identical actually to West uh, on the Challenge Tour this season. He's played 51 matches of which he's won 27 of them, finished 70th on the Order of Merit, which uh, is pretty good going, really, considering there's many hundreds of players that play on it. So uh, a good finish for him on that particular tour. Again, this is a very evenly matched leg between two, in these early stages anyway, two very evenly matched teams. Advantage just slightly in the favour of Helson and Holmes at this point. West finds a crucial trouble with his last dart. Gets them down to the big fish. Still haven't had a big fish on this channel. I live in hope. It could be now. You never know. Helson not happy with that visit but leaves them Shanghai on the 20s if this 170 doesn't go just correcting the score at the moment always good to be on a finish after 12 darts which is what both teams have managed Beasley now wants two treble 20s just composed himself, won't be rushed. That's a fantastic visit, especially given the uh, break in play. But uh, Holmes wants double top for a break. He was willing it in. <laughs> he was willing it in. It's a great, great uh, effort. See Housen's reaction in the background, love it. West goes straight at the double 19, doesn't choose to split. How on earth that second one isn't in, it's anyone's guess. And you can see his frustration, he was so close there. And that was to hold their throws. And now Housen with a, well, a golden opportunity, really. Makes it look very effortless when he throws quality darts such as that and that is the break of throw that Housen and Holmes so desperately needed and open up with a 1-2-1 one, one, just to reinforce the damage that they've done there in this final and in this race to four it's been a great field in action today three tour guard holders we're in this uh, competition. 
So I've spoken about Connor Scott and Lee Cox who reached the semi-finals. Uh, also in action with Louis Williams and Lewis Bennett. And Richie Edhouse and Michael Barnard, former tour card holder there, also in action as well. Of course, if I, any of those teams had reached the final, then I wouldn't have been able to film, because that's the rule. Elson and Holmes with a 59 point advantage before these were thrown. Weston Beasley need a big score and quickly they overcame Josh Payne and his partner in the first round. Nelson gets them down to a finish after 12 on to 156. West looking to do the same, but it's not enough. So six starts here from 156 for Houston and Holmes to double their lead, win the third leg in a row and get to within one of lifting the title today. And uh, I really hope you can appreciate the fantastic setup that's in this venue in the background there's 12 boards in this room and it's also where Kent play their UKDA action here we go so double 19 no chooses the split so double 16 and it goes just squeezes it into the bottom right hand corner of that bed great checkout 18 dart hold of throw it's the best leg of pay best leg of this match for them. They go within, Houston and Holmes go within one of lifting the title. Good visit from Beasley, though they will not go down without a fight. It is only best of seven, so and a break takes it all the way, you never know. Good switch from West. West had a had his best year on the Challenge Tour this year. Finished 91st in the end on the order of merit. Regular for London County A. And uh, very nearly made it through to Q School Stage 2. Remember there are two stages of Q School now, aren't there? So very, just getting through to Stage 2 is a big achievement. Uh, but he just missed out and I know he'll be doing everything in his power to try and put that right. And they're looking very well placed in this fifth leg, West and Beasley. Especially after that ton gets them down to a two dart combination after 12 darts. Nothing else I can do in terms of Leaving a finish. So 83, double 16 for Beasley. Wants double eight, just adjusts. That's really well found. 15 dart, hold a throw. Best leg of the match from either pairing. Seen a 98 checkout and 83 there. 98 checkout from. Halson and an 83 there from Beasley so all to play for but Beasley and West know that they have to win the next two legs somehow if they're going to take the title today and a treble of visit from Halson and Holmes another fist bump there they clearly do play very well as a pair and gel as a team. West looks to the heavens with that one, but it's not over yet. Holmes is a regular for Essex County A. Uh, he's played in three fixtures this season. He's got one victory. He's ranked 
in the middle of the field in terms of those averages uh, and rankings. Uh, how do UKDA uh, compile those? 119th out of 184. But uh, that is in the Premiership, it should be noted. So uh, very, very high standard. So if you're in the uh, County A team for in the Premiership, that's uh, really good going. No treble there for West. Could that be the beginning of the end here? Because Houston and Holmes have six starts from 160. And a ton there puts them very handily placed. They're going to get tournament darts. Beasley can only hit and hope. But uh, that's a very good effort. Very good effort. A multi treble visit. So they are there to pounce if this doesn't go. Tournament darts incoming. Double ten. And, uh, well, you can see Housen so disappointed there because he knew that was an opportunity to see it out. Will he rue that missed opportunity? 58 needed here for West. Can he force the decider? Yes, he can. 17 dart break of throw. You can see he enjoyed that one as well. Why not? Right under pressure. So there's a couple of legs there that West has won his team those combinations 43 combination and that 58 combination hitting the double at the first time of asking that is a great way to start this final leg they're on throw now they've broken back they've won the last two legs all the momentum is with Weston Beasley here and only 60 from Holmes West backs up the 140, so that's consecutive 140s from Weston Beasley on their own throw. Helson, this is a good response. Would love to fill it up, can't quite. But it does get them back into this leg. Oh, it's really tantalisingly poised at this stage. Great from both teams. Just the 60. Beasley, not the time for a troublous visit. Holmes, well, look at this. Well, wow, that's amazing, amazing darts under that kind of pressure to find a maximum. The first one of this match, will they, will they even get a chance at the 1 2 1 though? Because the 1 6 1 is on, couldn't find the trouble. 17, very exciting stuff. This will. House and get another tournament dart. He had two in the previous leg. He is going to get one. It may be at the bullseye. It will be at the bullseye for the title. Oh, it's very close. House and again, very expressive. He knew that that was a, potentially a brilliant opportunity. And now they have to hope that Beasley can't convert this 64. That he's going to get one dart at double 16 for the title, and it's on the wire. So tense. Can you believe how tense this is? All comes down to this then. Can Holmes tidy up this 25? Double eight. On the wire. Is that a good marker? It is. There's the fist bump. He enjoyed that one. And a nice round of applause from the crowd as well. Played in a great spirit that game. Really, really close. Fantastic to watch. Congratulations to Richie Housen and Lenny Holmes. They pick up the £200 uh, winner's cheque. Commiserations to Ben West and Steve Beasley. And thank you for watching.